All right, y'all. Literally tried to record this video like three times. And I kept fucking burping, bro. Cause I don't know what I did. I guess I drink something, bro. I don't, I don't know what I drinked, but bro, it literally made me burp like three times, bro. I was trying to record the video and like, <laughs> I, I assume y'all know what that's like. But look, y'all. So today, if y'all show you guys the best build, and this is the best slashing build with the brand new pie charts they added with the new update, guys. I'm telling you guys right now. Um, y'all are gonna have fun on this build. I'm gonna say that as far as you know, saying I don't want to really spoil it yet or anything like that. But this build is definitely. A fun build it gets a very well balanced set i mean it can't shoot because you know it's in slasher which is the only downside but however the amount of other stuff like as far as attributes and all that and you know say versatility this is actually fire builds so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this build let's get right into it make sure like subscribe if you're new and uh yeah let's go ahead and get into it so look first things first you want to go ahead and go over to a point guard position and you want to go with the lowest weight and lowest height which is 5'9 of course now I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when you go lower height in this game, it, I don't know, like it just, it boosts your dunk. So you're able to have higher versatility, um, as far as when it comes to finishing, like I'm talking about like your layup that and your driving dunk and all that and getting contact dunks consistently as well as with a pretty decent vertical. It all comes from shorter build, which is weird to me because realistically, like in real life, you won't really expect a five, nine, like who's like five, nine, like Isaiah Thomas, or something like that getting contact downs like it's just not realistic but however on hoops life that's just how it works i don't know it's kind of weird to me but look so you want to go five nine lowest weight which is 160 and point guard position right now it, this is actually one of the new pie charts you see right here now originally for this video when i was making this build i went with the pure blue now here's the difference if you look at the pure blue yeah you get a 91 driving dunk and a 99 lay which is cool whatever but your three pointer is down which you know what i'm saying it's going to be still the same like it's, this build's not really much of a shooter but your ball handling with your playmaking and all that is ass and your defense is not the best now whatever you know what i'm saying for the most for the average person they probably just go with this shit anyway and i don't worry about it but if you were to go with this pie chart right here and then look you, you I mean you're, you're not getting nothing out of it you know what i'm saying like these these are all bad right now here's the thing because when i was going through these new pie charts i didn't really think of nothing because honestly i was like all right like these are shit but then when i came to this one right here Look at the balance on it. Look at the first two on it. I mean, it has pretty much everything. And y'all get a 92 ball handle with a 90 driving dunk compared to the pure blue, which is just one above from regular. And I mean, the only thing you sacrifice is your driving lip. And that's still high enough. What you just say? Like, if you look at this right here, right? Look how much blue is on this pie chart. And then look at what you get compared to this one that doesn't have as much blue. But it's like the same amount of stats, if not better, in my opinion. The only thing it's really adding is like, I mean, a little bit of a standing dunk. That really doesn't matter because you're 5'9. But look, that pie chart is OP, guys. I'm telling you. And you have decent defense. You have 81 uh perimeter defense. And you also have a decent lateral quickness, but decent steal, a really good steal, actually. And the, the the defensive and offensive rebounds are actually decent. So this new pie chart might actually be the most OP one. I'm not gonna lie with you. And I mean, you get 103 vertical if you want to go with the pure vertical one. If you want to go with the, you know what I'm saying, the most speed and all that, which is always gonna be the bottom one. You still have the same amount of vertical regardless the only thing i mean if you want to go with this one look it drops tremendously but if you want to go with the most speed which is going to i know it's up against 103 i'm sorry 100 the your acceleration 103 you still have a 103 vertical that's op i don't think y'all understand how good that is look this is what we're gonna get okay so first things first we're gonna go ahead and obviously go over to the finishing because it's main build this is lasting build you want to go ahead and upgrade your finishing all the way out literally upgrade everything you're finishing um the only thing i wouldn't recommend upgrading is your standing dunk because you're never going to get standing dunk. you're five nine let's be realistic so i'm just going to leave it how it is and then i'm gonna upgrade the post hook just because why not um and then your three-pointer uh i'm pretty sure it only goes to like a 60 so yeah 68 that's not terrible you can still shoot with that i mean you're not gonna be too consistent it should be all right with well, your mid-range though however your mid-range is a lot higher you can shoot consistently with a 74 mid -range, which is actually good um and then moving shot as well if you want to do fades and all that i'm saying i would definitely recommend upgrading the post fade though um and actually matter of fact i'm gonna upgrade the moving shot as well so you know what i'm saying go with that the ball handle oh my god it's just insane how you can get a 92 ball handle this is literally like i mean this is basically a john morant build if you think about it it's ever, i mean regardless of you know being 5'9 and not you know 6'3 like Ja Morant is IRL this this build is very similar to him now I don't make builds for you know what I'm saying park and all that I make straight one chords one court build so I don't upgrade my pass accuracy or anything like that um and then look you can upgrade the defense to an 81 
Lateral quickness to a 78, which is OP. And then your steel also goes, I believe, to 81 as well. If you want to go that way, that. You know what I'm saying? And that's fire right there alone. Now, here's the thing because you don't have as much upgrades. I mean, yeah, you get a lot for each pie chart um, and all the categories and whatnot. But the only problem is you don't have that much of upgrade points. So, what I'm actually going to do, just so you know what I'm saying, balance this out a little bit, I'm going to actually go ahead and go over to my post hook and I'm going to take that off because. Although it is cool to have the post hook, I really don't do post hooks. Like, that's realistic. Like, who who's does that shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then as well as the post fade, I don't really do post fades like that. But I mean, it's it's good to have. Don't get me wrong. But me personally, I'm not putting that shit on. So now we have the block that we can upgrade. Um, and then our interior defense is still gonna be shit, whether we upgrade or not. We are five nine, and we're gonna that's gonna be the only downside. So I'm not even gonna bother upgrading that. I'm gonna just go ahead and go to my uh defensive rebound and upgrade that to a 60 and then go to my offensive rebound and upgrade that to a 60 and then boom that's what we get we get 11 1 8 15 now badges don't actually even they're not even a thing in this game it's just like a cool thing to look at but realistically in this game for some reason yo i'm not gonna lie if anyone at hoops life you know what i'm saying sees this video make sure it like in any update y'all need need to add badges bro please add badges it would make it would just make the game so much better i'm mean, gonna you boys but look y'all that's the build and the name is i mean it's not it's not a name that you really haven't seen that much but it's i see like it's more like a, it's more like a uh different kind of name i don't really see a lot of people have this name but a fast break threat that name alone is i mean that's pretty unique to me when you think about it. I'm, i haven't really seen that many people with this build i have seen like let's be honest i've seen like maybe like a few people but as far as when you play this game like i mean you see the same three builds bro let's be real this build right here is going to break the game, in my opinion. Um, and y'all, I'm telling you guys right now, you're gonna have fun with this build. You know what I'm saying? And best believe, videos using this build are going to be on the way. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe because best believe I'll be showcasing this build in the next video. But thank you guys for watching. It was the end of the video. I'm saying, you no, know saying, and thank you guys, y'all. Thank you guys for getting me to 3,000 members on the Discord server. If you guys haven't already joined the Discord server, make sure to join that link down below in the description if you want to join. Anyway, guys. Another one, I'm out. Peace.